So welcome back to the channel and welcome to day two of my autumn photography workshop in Belgium. Uh, yesterday we had some amazing blue sky conditions, but today it is totally different. It's grim, it's foggy, it's rainy. Uh, so we have to turn the whole schedule around and think of some other plans. And uh, yeah, we're now going to the uh, river first. So that's the, the place where we started uh, the second time yesterday. But uh, there's no need to go to an open field uh, with this condition. So we're going to the river, hopefully catch some nice compositions there. And uh, after that, we will hopefully go and visit a castle um, before lunch. But uh, we, I don't know how much time we're going to spend at the river. But uh, the program is going to be totally different than yesterday and hopefully some totally different images. And hopefully, and that's the most important thing, some really happy uh, contestants to the workshop. So uh, today there are five people with me and uh, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be a cracker of a day with all these colors and uh, yeah, amazing. So uh, let's head out today and uh, see what we can find. So I found a rather nice uh, spot over here and I'm going to try to explain you. You see this tree here caught my attention that which hangs on the left side. It looks pretty nice and on the right side there's a pretty dominant mossy tree completely filled with mosses there in the light so there's some light on that tree which i really like and then there's this these bubbles here in the water uh, leading towards the waterfall and let me show you on the back of the camera how that composition looks you see this is the composition and you can see those bubbles here on the side but if you take a one and a half or two second exposure these become lines and then you got these leading lines leading towards the brightest part of the image up here so you got all these leading lines going towards this place up there and that's actually the idea of this of this image and there's no filters or anything on the camera at the moment uh, it's just a normal shot focusing somewhere in the middle i changed the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 just to make sure that i'm not putting that that uh, th those those white spots of the, the sky in and that's it, pushing the shutter. And I think a rather nice image. So I found a rather nice shot over here um, with some waterfalls. So let me show you the image on the other side. So my eye got pulled by this tree right over here. So it's a real nice gnarly tree on an island. But you got these rapids over here. And if you use them in a portrait, you can use this white line as a leading line towards the tree as my main subject. But then I was starting to experiment a little bit and uh, I wanted to get this leaf out of the image so I pulled it away. One of those leaves fell off. And then I got this idea, what if I put this in front of the lens? So I'm actually trying to do that and this is the result. So I'm really happy with this. I try to keep the aperture a little bit low to make these sides transition a little bit smoother. So if you keep an aperture of f8 or higher, it gets a little bit hard. But with a lower aperture, it works a lot better. 
and it's starting to rain now and I didn't order that so hopefully it will be a short notice but uh, yeah real nice image So we just left the area with the small uh, river that we spent the whole morning in. Uh, there was no view this morning, so uh, we couldn't do that. So we spent a little bit more time on the river than on yesterday's workshop. But right now we're going to a location that we didn't visit yesterday. And I think I've been there once. It can be a really nice uh, location today with a little bit of rain, a little bit of fog. Um, especially all those autumn colors. So uh, I hope it's gonna work and that the contestants of the workshop will like this location. So uh, yeah, that's where we're going right now and uh, hopefully it will, uh, it will work. So we're at the second stop of the second day of the workshop at the moment and uh, as you can see it's raining, it's misty, it's foggy but I just told the participants you can't do a workshop with me without having some fog. So I took the fog machine with me, turned it on down in the valley and as you can see we're having some lovely foggy hazy conditions with all those yeah, autumn colored trees here and then this castle in the distance. But there are a lot of different images here, there are some abstract shots uh, of some trees on the right side that all look exactly the same. There's this fog with colorful uh, trees on the opposite side. You can use the castle as a subject. Uh, the only thing we don't really like is that open spot behind the castle. Last time I was, here, I was here there were some trees there but apparently they cut them down. But uh, we're just working with what we got. But uh, yeah it just looks really nice uh, and hopefully these shots worked. You know it's in the middle of the rain. We're just before lunch so I think these are the last shots before the lunch and then we're heading off to see uh, uh, in the afternoon what we can do. Hopefully it's going to be dry from about one o'clock. That would be uh, really nice. So, uh, but for autumn this really, really, I really like this location. Uh, I hope the participants did. I have no idea, but you know, the weather isn't working with us unfortunately. So we have totally different plans than what we did yesterday when we had those beautiful blue skies beautiful light so we just look for those more moody locations and what suits a creepy castle more than some moody fog and autumn colors so uh, these are the shots right here of this castle i think they're really nice so uh, i hope you do too So we 
walk a little bit further down the path. And if you look on this side, it's the opposite side. The castle is on that side. We're now looking on this side. And you see all these gnarly trees on the side with this foggy backdrop and all those colors. And just a minute ago, a white heron or something like that just flew around the corner there. Yeah, it looked really nice. I think it's really small in the image. I had the wide angle on, but still worth taking a chance. So I hope that shot worked. If it did, then this is that shot. Right now we are going to the other side of the uh, nature reserve, just like yesterday. But today it's going to be a bit difficult on uh, the afternoon. I don't think we will have a sunset looking at the clouds and the fog and the rain and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit improvising, uh, changing the program. And that's what this workshop is all about. Uh, improvising, learning to be creative, learning to work with the conditions that we're having with, with the autumn colors, with the trees. Uh, that's what we're, what I'm trying to uh, bring over to the contestants of the workshop. Um, and yeah, hopefully that's going to work. So we're, we're going to drive over there. It's about a 25 minute drive. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can, uh, we can do back then. I have no idea actually. So uh, yeah, we'll see. And hopefully it will deliver a couple of nice images. So it's the last stop of my two day autumn workshop. At least I think it's going to be the last stop. And uh, we're walking through a nice forest here, looking for, yeah, contrast, different shapes, different colors, especially colors, you know, look at all those trees. If there's just one tree within them that has these, these orange, yellow colors, that's going to be one cracker of an image. So that's what we're going to look for. And I actually forgot my wallet, it was still in the car. So I kind of lost my <laughs> group of people. <laughs> I said, walk along slowly. But uh, apparently they uh, started to uh, do a marathon sprint or something. So I'm just uh, trying to catch up at the moment. But it's been two great days, you know. It's a shame because this last location, uh, we had to park a little bit further away due to uh, Etienne's giant camper van. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, no problem. Now we get to walk through this nice forest. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to see something nice. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will clear up a little bit this afternoon and we will get a sunset. I'm afraid we won't. But uh, yeah, like I said, today is about improvising and trying some new stuff, doing different things. And hopefully everyone will be happy after this last stop. So I'm just looking if there are some nice images on this side. The contestants are taking some images over there. I said, I'll walk over here, see if this fog is concentrating here. But look on top there. For the first time today, the sun is showing itself through the clouds. And just in the distance there, there is a grouping of trees with some ridiculous colors. And that little bit of sunlight is exactly hitting that group of trees. And it just looks really, really awesome. So I'm quickly taking this shot and then I'm 
that I'm going to go back and tell them that there's a nice shot over here. Now, it's, this is like a split second shot, you know, there's no need to walk back 300 meters to get them. This is like five seconds of light, then it's gone and the shot is gone. So, but it is a rather, rather nice shot. So this is the image right over here, shot with the 150 to 400, you know, it's really far away, but uh, definitely, definitely worth photographing. So we're back at our cars. Uh, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this trip of my autumn landscape photography workshop. And I will probably run this workshop again next year. So if you're interested in it, uh, keep an eye on my website because in the next few weeks I will uh, announce the date and you can uh, open the booking and reserve a spot if you want to. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you didn't already, please push the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you like the video. You will massively help the channel to grow. There is a buy me a coffee link up here and there are still some calendars left uh, for 2025. Uh, if you're interested in my calendar, worldwide shipping, uh, make sure to order one of the last copies. Uh, there are I think about 20 left that I am uh, able to sell. So if you're interested, then be quick because these are the last uh, copies for me. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week. Uh, no idea where that is going to be actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this time here in Belgium. And uh, I think everyone was satisfied, had some great images. So that's always nice to hear. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.